Hello to our next episode of uh, U-130 Adventures in the Atlantic. And uh, we have now sighted our first ship, Red. Here, an old merchant, of course, Norris. We're not even uh, close to our operating quadrant. We are uh, just at the uh, west coast of uh, Portugal. Yeah, let's see. I'm turning into the uh, ship to intercept it and uh, I think we could take it on with the deck. Uh, uh, nope, that doesn't work. Okay. So, then we have to go in with the torpedoes. the old uh, uh, beaten merchant but nevertheless enemy shipping is enemy shipping Jawohl, Herr 309 10 kilometers okay there she is Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Wahnsinnige Fahrt voraus. Okay, let's speed the things a little bit up and uh, I cut the video and be back with you when we have fire solution. So, I have uh, reached a good position and uh, I have decided to attack the freighter with my um, stern tubes. There she is. Frachter auf zwei, zwei, vier, kommt näher. 37 degrees, okay. Frachter auf zwei, zwei, drei, kommt näher. Frachter auf zwei, 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 kommt näher.
Schwachter auf 2-0-0 entfernt sich. There she is. Frachter auf 1,9,9 entfernt sich. Yep. A viable solution. Frachter auf 1,9,8 entfernt sich. Fire tube. Uh, was? Was? Uh, tube 5, yep. Yeah. That's all okay. Fast as is. Fire to 5. Alles im Wasser. Frachter auf 197. Entfernt sich. Frachter auf 192. Entfernt sich. Ah! What? Hey! <lacht> cool! That was cool! <lacht> But, uh, give him another one. Five knots. Frachter auf 190 entfernt sich. Frachter auf 189 entfernt sich. Fire to 6. Ah shit, he has seen us. Okay. And he obviously starts to zigzagging after that hit. But I won't spend another torpedo for such a small fish. Reload the tubes. Yeah, we hit him. Can you see it? Right there. At the ball. Uh, now he is pounding his old engines, huh? But it looks like he is a little bit deep in the water, but uh, I don't want to to waste another 25,000 Reichsmark for such an old target. Normally I would uh, have attacked him with the deck gun, but the sea is a little bit too rough. Anyways, we continue with our course. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Gehen wieder auf Kurs, Herr Kaloin. Because we have to go still quite a few miles, ne? <laughs> right down here, that's our quadrant EK74. Yep, yeah, then we go down here. Patrol the uh, Gulf of Guinea. I think there would be a high possibility to get some juicy targets in here. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. And on our way back, we take a look at Freetown. 
<coughs> we still have the possibility to uh, refuel and rearm here at uh, Las Palmas at the Corrientes ship. Yeah. There we are. Let's go to 60 meters. So we can reload our tubes. Okay guys, I cut the video here and be back with you later. Yeah, we have uh, spotted another ship. This time the weather is good. And uh, I'm going in for a deck gun attack. Yeah, it's a medium merchant. Uh, Let's see, medium merchant 74, that's 3,200 tons, that's not bad. Okay. North, north, east, that's 22.5. here oops okay and let's see to get a little bit closer I can't see no flag but I can't see neutrality signage either Jawohl Herr Kaloy wahnsinnige Fahrt voraus Okay, let's get closer and then we see. No flag, no neutrality signs, no lights. I declare it a fair target. So let's go in. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder 4, Graf Backbord.
Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder 0 Grad. Flag, uh, no neutrality markings. That's okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, kleine Fahrt voraus. Jupp. Target is good. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. 2000 meters, that's also good. First explosion, small but still an explosion. Yeah. Starts to burn pretty quick, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh huh. Look at that, how fast she's going down. But uh, no wonder it's a 10.5, it packs a pretty good punch compared with the 8.8 of the Type 7 boats. And it was not a neutral, I knew it. Ha! <laughs> Sneaky bastard. At least he tried, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not with me. Let's see, 3,230 tons, that's uh, quite nice. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder 3, 2, Grad Backbord, ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Let's have a look.
Yeah. It seems we are off to a good start. We are two days away from our patrol quadrant. And uh, we have already 3,200 tons sunk. That's a good sign. And yeah, I cut the video here and be back with you when we have more to report. Yeah, shot of our patrol target, we have spotted uh, two ships with course north. I uh, will go and uh, intercept them and uh, be back with you soon. Yeah, we have reached an intercept position. I'm taking the speed now and then we will go and attack both of them. I will attack the last one first because it's the bigger one. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Six hundred meters in three minutes. That's six knots. Let's check it with the nomograph. We have three minutes. Three minutes, six hundred meters, exactly six knots. Perfect. Let's 
check that again. Three minutes. Yeah. Six hundred meters. Yeah. Six knots. Six knots, okay. Eighteen degrees, okay. Eighteen degrees, anger on bow ten twenty. to do something with this no officer at helm station bug. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Derzeit die Gefahr. Eins. Knoten. Yeah, looks like we have a good solution. Draft is 8.9, that's 9.5. Magnetic fire tube 1. Six knots. Medium merchant thirty six is uh, seven point three meters. That's eight. Eight meters. Check the solution. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Lösung eingestellt, Herr Kaloy. 
That's a good one. Either fire to two. And now let's hope that works out. It's a damn bad angle on ball, but it shouldn't matter when it's a magnetic torpedo. And let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Nice. And uh, uh, this torpedo has ziel verfehlt, Herr Kalloy. Made in Germany, yeah. Uh, this looks more like the. Jawohl, Herr Kalloy. Lösung eingestellt, Herr Kalloy. Magnetic. 7.3, that's 8 meters. 6, 7, 8. No, a little bit deeper than that. Is he? Yeah, of course he starts turning because, yeah, him. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's not stupid. Of course he starts turning. I better go down a little bit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neue Tiefe, 2 Meter. Not that he rams me. <laughs> That wouldn't be the first time in uh, in the history of the Battle of the Atlantic that a freighter, a sinking ship, rammed uh, a U-boat. Yeah, he is looking. Yeah, but uh, it was a good hit around here. So he should start taking on water. Ooh, look at that! Uh huh? Pretty well armed for a large merchant. I mean, it's two, two guns. Four inch, possibly, maybe, yeah. Three inch, four inch, something like that. Ooh, he has the big iron on his hip, yeah. That looks like a five inch gun. They are already pretty good armed for mid-1941. Yep. They got all the vintage World War I guns out of the depots, I would assume, because for a job like this, they're still good enough. Yeah, I think uh, the big one 
uh, at the end of the two he has some slight problems to keep up the speed and uh, yeah the next one is this guy here Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Wahnsinnige Fahrt voraus. Du. Okay. Go back here. Go back here. And let's reload the tubes. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, Seerohrtiefe. Okay, let's see if that works. Where is he? There is he. There he is. Okay. Degrees. One sixty. That's about hundred. Still speeding. <coughs> well, that looks so like. Uh, pretty viable solution on the other hand I don't know maybe ah, that looks good Let's check the weapons officer Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Lösung eingestellt, Herr Kaloy. okay if he says so Fire tube five. Ooh, he's Looks like a, a good one. Fire tube six. Yeah, <laughs> and that's oh yeah, nice. And now look, let's see if that slingshot here uh, works out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That should be enough for this one here. Oh yeah, he is burning. That's uh, we hit him here in the freight co in the in the aft freight compartment. That's uh, just a matter of time until he goes down. And yeah, she is done. Yep, that's just a matter of time until she goes down. So guys, I end the video. Uh, I cut the video here and be back with you uh, when we have something news to report. Until then, see you later. It uh, is uh, pretty sure now both of these ships are doomed. The large merchant is already dead in the water, and uh, uh, as you can see, the water is uh, already coming over the forecastle. Uh, she is barely making any speed and is uh, starting to list over the bow. You see here, she is already deep in the water. So, this one here might take a little bit longer. But, this one here, yeah, she's done. That's just a matter of maybe... Uh, minutes, half an hour, an hour, and then she goes down. Yep. The big one is going down. Life raft is uh, visible behind the ship. That's uh, a pretty sizable uh, ship we killed here. The other one is dead in the water and starts also to sink. Rohr 2, Feuer bereit, Herr Kalloin! Yep, there's another life raft, so there are at least a few survivors, which is good. And there she goes. And yeah, uh, she's already deep in the water. That's just a matter of time when she goes too. She makes already sinking noises.
there she goes down. Took her quite long to sink, but uh, at the end... There she goes. Yeah, she really put up a fight, that's for sure. So. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Ein Drittel von uns. Yeah, the medium merchant was uh, 5,780 tons, the large merchant 6,639, which in total gives us a total tonnage of uh, 15,649 tons sunk. So we can continue our way down to our designated quadrant. And I'll be back with you soon. Yeah, first aircraft. Yeah. Takes a little bit longer to dive than a Type 7. Oh yeah, there she is. Yeah, then let's see. Derzeitige Tiefe 7-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 8-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 9-0. Yeah, 
Yeah, then. Let's stay on the water for a few hours and uh, then we, so we surface again. Until then, see you later, guys.